is part of Brighton Museum's Sustainable Fashion Handling Collection and it really clearly demonstrates the process of working back to front with garments. What they've done is they've cut away a shirt so that it actually does at the back, so this is the collar at the back here um, and the collar stand, and then they've joined it back together with the rest of the shirt so that the sleeves are here and then the sleeves just tie around the back. What you actually end up with is a little halter neck top made out of a shirt and it's a very very simple design. Jackets are fantastic because um, there's a lot of structure. This one's quite a simple one but as soon as you start fiddling around with it and you start butting it on back to front, it takes on a very different nature. It looks kind of quite austere, but there's a really, really good fit. And actually there's now a huge surface area for you to embellish and put different designs or patterns or motifs on. The other great thing is if you have a jacket with a lining in it and you take the lining out, what's inside it is all the seam details. All these seam details are absolutely fantastic for developing a kind of deconstructed looking garment. Japanese designers like Comte de Garçon have been working in a kind of deconstructed fashion for years. What you really need is a body or a stand to put things on. But each time I've fiddled around a bit, I'm starting to look at it with kind of new eyes and see that it's starting to take on a completely different quality to the way it looked when I began. If I just flip it around, the thing I'm going to show you actually that I quite like about it is when you turn it upside down, it just becomes something altogether different. What you do have to do, and this is why the sleeves aren't properly attached, is you have to actually unpick the sleeves and turn them around the other way. What you're doing is you're playing around with the process of upside down, back to front and inside out really. It's great if you've got, um, if you've got a friend who can model the garment for you and you can photograph it maybe with a digital camera so that you can record your experiments. And with each experiment that you do, um, that really becomes a new design that you can develop in your sketchbooks. And you end up with something that's got quite a nice fit on the front and the back as well. Um, it's just significantly shorter at the back now, um, but it's got, it's got more of a kind of bomber jackety feel at the back. So in some regards it's a way of making it more youthful and a bit more fresh. By playing around with the way that you conventionally view a garment, you can come up with completely new ideas.